Simply learn. Your pace, your place. Financial Risk Manager (FRM), Part One of the FRM exam covers the fundamental tools and techniques used in risk management, and the theories that underlie their use. Discrete probability distributions. Before we go into detail about discrete probability distribution, let us recall what a random variable is from our learning in the previous sessions. A random variable, say x, represents a numerical value with each outcome of a probability distribution. A random variable can either be discrete or continuous. A discrete random variable is a finite, countable value. For example, the number of people going to a soccer match. A random variable is continuous if it has unaccountable values. For example, the waiting time at McDonald's on a given day. Agenda. In this session, we will learn mainly about three different types of discrete probability distributions: Bernoulli distribution, binomial distribution, and Poisson distribution. In the end, we will make a comparative study of these distributions. Bernoulli distribution. This distribution represents the success probability as p and the failure probability as q equals one minus p, with a value of zero. The Bernoulli distribution is calculated to evaluate the probability of whether a company will default or survive in a given time. When the solvency of a company is assessed, the outcome will either be successful, which is denoted with a value of one, or failure. With a value of zero. To make it simpler, in the case of the Bernoulli distribution, the event that is taken into consideration to evaluate the probable outcome will always have two possibilities. For example, when a coin is tossed, the probable outcome will be heads or tails. That is, p equals one over two, and q equals one over two. A Bernoulli distribution is the simplest model. And is considered to be the foundation of all other discrete distributions. Binomial distribution. A binomial distribution is an event or trial that will only have two possible outcomes. The two possible outcomes can either be success or failure. For example, as mentioned in the previous paragraph, when a fair coin is tossed, the outcome will either be heads or tails. For an event to be binomial, the following assumptions.